she is on the front pages this morning, walking the catwalk at Paris Fashion Week, uh, looking extraordinary. I, don't, I hope you can see that. Um, yeah, there she is. But Dame Helen Mirren couldn't look more different in her latest movie as she takes on the role of Golda Meir, Israel's first and only female Prime Minister. And Helen joins me now. You look ever so slightly different now <laughs> when I'm seeing you in front of me. Yeah. Um, Yes, the uh, thing about playing a role like that is that uh, you make a very deliberate um, effort to look, you know, yeah. very different yeah, in your like, real like life. Golda. I yeah. mean, that's the thing about you, there's no vanity yeah. at all. I mean, they had to really age you. Absolutely. Not yes. just, not just yes. your face and your hair, your whole body. Yes. You know, the, the yes. legs, because obviously she had, she she had, she very, had problems, yes. didn't she? Yes, she had huge physical problems at the time. Um, so on top of dealing with a catastrophic political um, uh, military situation. She was also dealing with a pretty catastrophic situation within her own body. So um, her courage and fortitude was extraordinary. It was. It was absolutely remarkable. And you just get her. You, do, you just really, you, you really do. Um, and I think it's going to get people wanting to find out more about this extraordinary yeah. woman as well, which, mm. which I get. I mean, look at that. You, you're even put in to the actual footage. You know how they can do these amazing yes, things now? You're yes. actually even there, because you sort of go, is that Helen or is that yeah. Golda? <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness, you know, it's extraordinary. <laughs> the process of turning into her, though, must have taken a, a while every day. It, it did. It got shorter and shorter. Mm. Um, I had a wonderful um, makeup team, two young women who had just started out, they just started their own um, company of making prosthetics. Mm. So they did my makeup every morning and it was fun actually. It was like having sort of a little, little girly get together, yeah, you know, yeah. in, uh, for a couple of hours sure. every morning. And, and actually, I loved the process because normally I'm very short. I want, just want to get in and out of makeup as my makeup team. No, you know, just how you got 20 minutes and that's it, sort of thing. But here, because then I could listen to Golda talking, I could, you know, just take the two hours to physically enter into her, but also psychologically enter yeah. into her. So um, it was a very valuable time, actually. It was, and you, mm. I mean, obviously your body language, everything that you, you're doing, I mean, the, you had to get prosthetics, I'm sure, in your legs, like padding and all the rest yes, of it. Yes, And those little things. the bane of my life. Yeah, like, all, of, really all were, of that. They but kept again, falling the, down. But that's the thing about you having absolutely no vanity. This is the part, you know, this is the lady, this is the woman. You oh, have it's to grow. It's like wonderful. Her. For an actor, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's goals, it's what we a dream of, really, actually. And I'm, I count myself as very, very fortunate to have been given the opportunity. Well, you're, you're an actor that's played mm. a lot of so many different parts. I mean, it's crazy. We'd be here all day listing them all, wouldn't we? But there was... I mean, I, I don't know whether it's a, it's a trend or whether it'll go away. The actors are supposed to be... Like, you're not Jewish and you're playing Golda, and there was a bit of a backlash with that, but you're an actor. You know, that's the thing. Yes, it's a difficult but, one, isn't and it? It's very difficult. I love the fact that the... That, that 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 whole concept of casting and, and concept of how we look at drama has been sort of blown out of the water. I've, I think that's fantastic. So I, I love the fact that, you know, we're just re-examining what drama can be in, in terms of, uh, you know, the people telling the stories. Mm. Um, it's, you know, it's a tricky one because, you know, there's a... Anyone playing Golda, the most Jewish person, um, would have to wear prosthetics to look like, because nobody looks like no, Golda. No, Do you she, know what she, I was mean? Own, she was her so, own woman. So, you know, she there is, there, that For step sure. is always going to have to yeah. happen, whoever plays her. But you've played many, many different characters, many Jewish characters. You've been to Israel as well. You went to Israel. Did you not go back in the 60s? Well, I did actually work yeah, on a kibbutz, so nice. I do have that. Yeah. <laughs> I have that little tiny, tiny <laughs> little ribbon of sort of, you know, Jewish honour here. Um, yes, I had a, a Jewish boyfriend at the time. He very much wanted to go to Israel. Right. And um, so we went together and we worked on a kibbutz together. That was, that was a great experience, yes. No, of course. It would and that be. was in the uh, 60s, yeah. The 60s, I mean, yeah. that was before everybody, everybody went, really. I mean, that was, that was amazing. And like I said, with, with Golda, who's somebody I remember very much when I was a kid, you know, growing up, and because she was the first, she was a pioneer. You didn't see many females at all. In Incredible. Like I that. mean, I remember, because I'm old amazing. enough, I remember yeah, I do. Golda being, um, becoming prime minister. Yeah. And for for women all over the world, that was an extraordinary moment. Mm. Um, and to see a woman leading that was, was 
uh, absolutely. For, for me, it was a psychologically a great moment. It was, and the thing was, she was so bright. I mean, fiercely intelligent. You see that in the movie. And also... committed to her country. And, Very much and so. And it's funny, I, I did see an equivalence bef between her and, the, and Elizabeth Windsor. Yes. <laughs> Elizabeth II. Very um, much that you're right. Uh, uh, yeah. Of that absolute commitment. Mm. Uncompromising, un... just total commitment to her country. This is my duty, this is what I do. Duty, that's, that's um, the sense of it. So, uh, th there was an equivalence there. No, definitely, and also emotional intelligence, the way that she dealt with all of those very difficult men that she had to deal with. Yes. And she did it so yes, beautifully. Yes, she was very feminine, actually. In that Golda. sense, she was, yeah. She was, you know, she would have them all in her kitchen. Make them she, cake. Make them, make them cake, <laughs> yes, and <laughs> sit them down. Now, let's have a nice cup of tea and a cake. Yes. You know, and let's talk about this. Um, it was called the kitchen cabinet for that very reason. Yeah. Um, but uh, so she approached it with a very, mm. actually, a very feminine sort of Which attitude. Is fascinating. Strong, to see that, powerful, yeah. hugely powerful. Mm -hmm. I have to ask, how many cigarettes did you smoke? Oh my God! That, lady, that was the hardest she, thing. She just smoked all she the time. Did, she did. She did. She smoked something like eighty a day. You even yeah. had to have, like, they had to put nicotine on your yeah, fingers. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> just for yes. authenticity, because yes, yes. the attention to detail. Yes, in the people who smoke like that have yellow fingers. Yeah. yeah, but it's a brilliant movie. It's absolutely terrific. It's out in cinemas this Friday. Yes, yes. And like I say, you you inhabit her. It's a, an astonishing performance. Thank you. Absolutely Thank you very terrific. much. That's I'm great. so glad that you. I'm so glad that you did it, and you've you've done Golda such justice. Thank, Thank you. you.